guys. So I want you to meet one of my favorite people of all time, Nikki. Hi, guys. Good to meet you. She is extraordinary nice, extraordinary talent. She designs and makes the best things from clothes to furniture to quilts, yeah. right? And she just started her very own bistro business. <laughs> bistro scooter business. Right. I modded my scooter to put a bistro on top so I can drive around and sell food and drinks. Very cool. Food we make. Right, right. So we are brainstorming things that we can make. Ooh, desserts, pastries. Yes. Ready, set. Go! Neon cupcakes. Chocolate mousse flower pots. Unicorn macaroons. Edible glitter slime. In honor of you being slimed on TV. Oh, that was so much fun. And what an honor, right? It, it was a little cold. It was a little cold, but so much fun. Chocolate mud cupcakes with gummy worms coming out. Peanut butter pickle ice cream. <laughs> ice cream cum cake pops! Okay, we're about to race through this, but if it's going too fast for you, don't forget, you can always pause and watch it again. For this recipe, you'll need one three quarter cup of flour, one and a half teaspoon baking powder, three quarters cup sugar, three quarter cup milk, one quarter cup of butter, four tablespoons of vegetable oil, one tablespoon plain yogurt, one egg, half teaspoon vanilla extract, six drops pink food gel. We chose pink, but you can use any color. 400 grams of purple chocolate melts, two cups of vanilla buttercream frosting, sprinkles and assorted small candy for decoration. Here we go! Combine flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt into your bowl. And mix. Then add butter and mix again. Add egg, milk, yogurt, oil, and two drops of pink food gel. And mix. Place batter into a greased baking pan and cook for 40 minutes at 350 degrees. Take the buttercream and add four drops of pink food gel and mix. In a new bowl, take baked cake and crumble it apart into the bowl. And mix. I love this part. <laughs> Me too. Add the buttercream mixture to the crumbs and then just mix. <laughs> Didn't see that coming, did you? But with a fork this time. Now, using your palms, roll the mixture into eight cake balls the size of ice cream scoops. Like this. Put on the pan and chill for an hour. Take your purple chocolate melts and microwave and stir so it's smooth and melted. Dip each cake ball into the chocolate and coat and put back in the fridge for a half hour. Take your ice cream cones and dip the tops into the melted chocolate. Take the chilled cake balls and put one on top of each cone. Take your pop and cone and dip the top into the chocolate so it looks like something has melted on top. And then decorate. Put your own special touch on it. Voila, ice cream cone cake pops. This should be your signature dessert. Ooh, hey, next time let's make them surprise pops. We can fill the cone with candy so it'll be a surprise when you bite into it. That's amazing. You should have your own craft hack show. Hmm. What would be the first craft I would hack? I cannot wait to see what you come up with. Pace! Pace.